Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new followers, hello. Welcome, y'all, to my tribe and family at large. Listen, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, y'all know Thursday night, Thursday night, Thursday night. I cannot scream and shout about Thursday nights enough. Listen, y'all, we have had, um, we just have a beautiful time on Thursday nights. Thursday nights are our time to come together to really dig in deep into this healing. You understand what I'm saying? On the journey to wholeness. Come on here. We, I, When I tell you Thursday nights are so live, y'all, if you don't make it out to the Thursday night live streams, you are missing. You're missing a huge piece of what God, I believe the Lord is trying to tell you when it comes to, when it, as it relates to your healing journey. Journey. Amen. So I want to see you here Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time right here on the channel. We're live. Of course, y'all know every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 1.2K. No, 2.1K. Plus, plus, plus. If you rock with your girl, if you rock with your girl, hit that like button, y'all. All right. So let's jump into the topic of this video. Y'all, I got to talk about this. Mm, mm, mm. Got to talk about it because I feel like it's really, really important for you to understand um, what you're dealing with as it relates to a narcissist. We're, we're talking about, you know, the, the spiritual background, why you see some of the things that you that they do, you know, how they're able to do these things without question. You know, it just seems that it comes so easy for them. Okay, so I'm going to go a little deep in this video. So I need y'all to, to just walk with me, y'all, uh, as you jump onto the video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Y'all uh, help a sister out. Come on, y'all, because this is is how we get the information out to the people okay so hit that like button for me all right so let's talk about the consciousness you know what happened to the conscious of you know the conscience of a narcissist you know what happened to their conscience that they're able to treat you know that they're just able to treat people the way that they do well I'm going to tell you, well, we're going to dig a little bit into the, you know, the demonology and how the enemy works when it in relation to, um, you know, trauma and different things like that. OK, so basically what happens with a narcissist is that when you're talking about their conscience, you know, um, well, they don't have any remorse. They don't you know, people say they don't have any remorse. They don't they don't care about this and they don't care about that, which is to some extent very, very true. And there is a reason for that, though. But you still can't discount the fact that they do have a, hu a human element as well. And the reason I say that is because most of the time what they're dealing with are feelings of shame and anger okay so here's the thing that is where the human aspect comes in if you ever want to really break a narcissist down the thing that you start to do is bring out that shameful stuff that happened to them as a child the stuff that they don't ever want you to know about baby let me tell you something that will break a narcissist down like a salt shaker but i'm gonna tell you right now if you ever try to do that and you're dealing with a violent narcissist, let me tell you something, that won't end well for you. So you don't even just want to play tit for tat and try to, and I have a video um, on that, you know, how, you know, what actually gets to the the core essence of a narcissist. And I talked about that shame. I have it. I can't, I think it was uh, sometime earlier this year I did that video. But anyway, so when we talk about, you know, so that shame and the anger is what lets you know that there is a, a human aspect to it. Now, I've, I've often told you all, anytime a spirit enters a person, it has to change the consciousness of that person. Why? 
Why does it have to change the consciousness of that person? Because it has to change the consciousness of that person so that the spirit is able to be fed inside of that person. Okay. So what I mean by that is that if you have a spirit of lust, the spirit of lust has to make you not see, you know, pornography, you know, uh, all types of material like that and entertainment like that. It has to make you absolutely see that there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that that is just what people choose to do. You know what I'm saying? So that it can be fed through you watching pornographic material, uh, you know, uh, uh, watching movies that's, you know, has sexual, uh, hot, you know, uh, sexual content and all of that kind of stuff. And, and if you're angry, you know, the, the spirit, if, if there's a spirit of anger, the spirit of anger has to make you just believe, oh, well, you know, this is just something that, I, you know, I deal with this. This is my problem. You know, I know I got a problem with this. It, it has to make you come in agreement, you know. So the, in essence, that's what it has to do. It has to make you come in agreement with that particular spirit when it enters you. And, you know, something has to be open in order for it to come. Well, with the narcissist, what happened was... The most narcissists were traumatized as children, okay? They were traumatized, and not all of them were traumatized. Some of them were just spoiled. Some of them were just given too much. They didn't have any structure and discipline in their lives, and they ended up becoming a narcissist because they became so entitled that that spirit, and, and when you do a child like that, that's traumatic to a child as well. It's still the spirit of trauma, you know, selfishness. That, that's how they develop the selfishness and everything. So what happened to the conscience of a narcissist and the reason that they're able to treat you the way that they do, you know, and, and they're able to, I mean, just really go in on us, devaluation. I mean, say some of the most horrible things is because usually when a, when a child is hit with trauma, they're immature, they're ignorant. They don't know how to express what has happened to them. So if a parent is not covering that child in prayer, if that child is not being lifted up, you know, in the realm of the spirit and being covered with prayer, listen, those demons are going to find a home. And when they come in, when trauma opens up a portal, trauma is not just coming in by itself. Okay. It's going to bring in friends. <clears throat> It's going to bring in friends and get y'all a little lightweight. So the reason that a narcissist can do this is because, A, when that, when that trauma was opened up, hence the trauma bond when they get with you. Hello, I'm about to draw that correlation too. So when the trauma was opened up, things came in with trauma. You understand what I'm saying? Selfishness, um, you know, shame, anger, rage, you know, raft, a lot of that, um, unforgiveness, all of that usually came in will usually come in with trauma to some degree you are going to see those different things coming in and sometimes it'll be a, a sexual immoral spirit a say you know <clears throat> just depending on what excuse me what type of trauma it was as to what it ushers in with it okay so the narcissist decided that when they were going to be you know when they were basically um when they when they were traumatized, they decided at that point that they were going to accept that voice and that narrative in their head, telling them <clears throat> basically, excuse me, they were right for being selfish. They were right for doing all of these other things. That's nothing more than an ego, which is a demonic presence that's talking to them even as children. Okay. And so what happens is that thing begins to grow with them. And when it, when it, and it never, you know, it never shuts up in their head. OK, never. It's always running a negative narrative and it's always running uh, what I call reconnaissance and just basically telling the narcissist, this is why you have to do it. This is why you're you're justified in what you're doing. This is why I told you all before the narcissist say you, you they really think you the predator. You know what I'm saying? Because when you try to love them, I'm going deep. Y'all hit that like button when you try to love them. Do you know when you are really trying? trying to love a narcissist it triggers them oh i want y'all to hit that like i'm giving y'all some revelation right here when you try to love a narcissist it triggers them it doesn't trigger them it triggers the spirit inside of them and so that spirit inside of them like oh no 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 we can't have that 
We can't have that because that that's not going to, if we allow that to come into the proximity of intimacy, which means if we allow the true self to come forward and receive that love, then we're going to have to get out of here because we need negativity. We need dark. Oh, I'm, re- I'm giving you revelation. Hit that like button. This thing is coming straight off the throne right now. If we let that in, we let that true self come forward and, and you begin to, re- and we allow that true self to receive that, then there's a great possibility that this person is going to get deliverance and we're going to have to leave. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So what does it, what does, what do those spirits in t- working in tandem do? They shut that narcissist down. You will notice as soon as you told the narcissist you were in love with them, blah, 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 blah I'm ready to do everything you, you want to do. That narcissist treated you like straight trash. You turned from a treasure to them to straight trash. That's why. Oh, I just gave you divine revelation right there. That's why. That's why, because they could not, the uh, the entities that power them can't have you doing that. They can't have you uh, uh, ministering to that, trying to pull that true self forward because that little true self, that that uh, trauma, uh, traumatized child is down buried underneath all of that demonic, all of that demonic energy and that presence right there. They have to, and what you see when they're abusing you is what's in control. What is in control? You understand what I'm saying? So this is how they are able to do it without a conscience. Why? Because it's not the true self that you see. This is the false self. This is the, this is uh, the, the demon that is controlling them. You understand what I'm saying? That is, that is basically encouraging them to abuse, to say horrible things to you. And all the time, this spirit is destroying the narcissist too. This is why we, this is why I call them the enemy's foot soldiers. Boy, I'm telling you, when he create when that spirit of of, of narcissism is a it, it's a cold piece because it not only destroys several people because a narcissist can actually have several people working as supplies at the same time. It not only destroys several people around them, including family, but it also destroys the narcissist. So they're able to do things without a conscience because they don't have one. Their conscience, once that false self has taken over, once as a child, they have allowed that thing to guide them and they'll tell you, well, you know, I protect myself. They'll tell you that. Y'all hit that like button. I protect myself. You know, I'm not going to let somebody hurt me like that. Uh Uh-uh. No, no. You know why? It's not that they're protecting their, themselves. That is the false self that is actually keeping under guard, heavy demonic guard, that false self, the, the will of that person, of the narcissist has been so severely oppressed and um, depressed and, and look, possessed a lot of times by demonic uh, entities. And the person and the true self don't have an opportunity. It does not have a fighting chance because of what was allowed to come into them as a child. Everybody that's traumatized doesn't end up like that. But narcissists, they end up like that because they refuse to accept the fact that, hey, listen, this what happened to me had nothing to do with me. Or, you know, and other other people that turned out as being empaths, empaths, could, uh, empaths, a lot of times you will understand can had some of the same trauma. It's just the fact that they decided to go a different way. And when I say that, I, when the scriptures say truly God chose us, you know, we were chosen from the foundation of this earth. I truly, truly believe that. And you can take that any way you want to. And I'll, and it's right there in the book. You know, we don't choose God. God chooses us. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Do we have to make the decision to come to him? Yes. But he also say that he knew us before we, we were formed in our mother's womb. And he chose us before the very foundation of the earth. So you take, you go dig into the scriptures for, your, for yourself and you understand that I truly believe that this 
actually this rule this principle comes into or this principle comes into play when we're dealing with a narcissist you understand why how you just go and decide that you just gonna be a whole bird you know what i'm saying you just gonna treat people just any kind of way you just don't care but it's just it's not even the person it's the spirit behind the person anytime an entity enters a person it has to change the consciousness about who that person is i'm telling you y'all this is why this is this is what happened to their consciousness and so when they are dealing with you you are not dealing with the narcissist you're not dealing with the true self you're dealing with an ego and that's why they're so sensitive and that's why they're so easily hurt that's why they're so easily provoked and all of this other stuff because you're dealing with something that is not natural you're dealing with something that is not even human that spirit is a very unnatural spirit it's demonic and if you stay in there at any you stay in there for a length of time with that thing you are going to you you're going to take on some of those same things because you have to in order to to cohabitate with that whole wrecking ball you understand what i'm saying i said it okay it's a whole wrecking ball they come to to just completely destroy your life okay so family this is what happened to the consciousness of a narcissist and that's why they're able to abuse you the way that they do y'all hit that like button share this content because i really believe that this will bless someone's soul okay i love you family and i will see you all on the next video do something good for yourselves okay and i'll see you all healed at the top shalom family peace